Good day everyone and welcome to another tech news video. Today we'll mostly be talking about graphics cards that includes the upcoming ones and the ones that got delayed. So if you want to find out more on that, stay tuned. Earlier this month, it was thought that RTX 3070 Ti 16GB and RTX 3080 12GB will be announced on December 17th. But as we can see, that didn't turn out to be the case. Igor's lab mentions that, according to their sources, while both mentioned graphics card has been put on hold for the time being, RTX 3090 Ti will still be in schedule for CES 2022 announcement and January 27th launch. It was also speculated that RTX 3070 Ti 16GB will only be available after Chinese New Year. And while there hasn't been any news on when or if Nvidia will be releasing RTX 3080 12GB, Video Cards has confirmed its specifications, featuring 384-bit memory bus, 912GB per second bandwidth, 8960 CUDA cores, and 340 to 350W TDP. Recently, Nvidia announced three new laptop GPUs, RTX 2050, MX550, and MX570. The RTX 2050 is based on Ampere GA107 GPU and is equipped with 2048 CUDA cores, 4GB GDDR6 memory, and 64 bit memory bus. The GPU will also have a TGP of 30 to 45 watts. In the case of MX570, it is stated that it will also be based on Ampere architecture, and MX550 will instead be based on Turing architecture. And unfortunately, besides that, Nvidia hasn't really given much more information on these two MX cards. But in any case, all three GPUs is confirmed to be launched in Spring 2022. Now a short break before we move on to the next piece of news, and if you're still here, then maybe click on the subscribe button if you don't mind. It won't cost you anything, and you'll be helping our little channel grow, so we really do appreciate your support by doing this. With crypto mining booming in popularity, XFX has finally made their crypto mining card available for purchase. The card, also known as BC160, is a blower type headless card which is used to mine Ethereum. The specs page here states that it's a Navi 12 GPU featuring 2,304 stream processors and 36 compute units. It's also equipped with 8 GB HBM2 memory and 2,048-bit memory bus. It's also equipped with 8 GB HBM2 memory and 2,048-bit memory bus. The BC160 offers a hash rate of 69.5 MHz per second at 150 watts TGP and is available for purchase on AliExpress at a hefty price of US$2,000. Corsair had just announced their new Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5 memory and has advertised to reach frequencies as high as 6400 MHz. With this, Corsair claimed themselves leading the charge in the next generation memory. David Miller, a known overclocker, set a new record level of speed for Corsair DDR5 memory by reaching a speed of 8149 mega transfer per second when cooled with liquid nitrogen. Available on the Corsair web store and select authorized retailers, those looking for the newest memory for their PC setup might have this memory as something worth considering. And that'll be it for this video. If you've managed to get to this point of the video, give yourself a pat on the back and again, Consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel too if you still haven't done that yet. And hopefully, we'll see you again when we'll cover more tech news. So until then, take care.